Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, given various pieces of information about the line. To complete this problem, we'll identify the components we've been given, plug them into our slope-intercept formula, and then simplify the equation. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to find the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, given these various pieces of information. The equation of the line in slope-intercept form is the formula y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. What I wanted to show you was that given any of these pieces of information, you can use the equation for the line in slope-intercept form to find the equation of the line. So for example, if you're given the slope and the y-intercept where the slope is negative 3 and the y-intercept is 2, you'll plug negative 3 in for m, the slope, and 2 in for b, the y-intercept, and you'll get y equals negative 3x plus 2, and that's the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. That's the easiest possible scenario. If you're given a slope and a point, so for example, the slope negative 3 and the point 1, negative 1, what you would do is plug in the slope and get y equals negative 3x plus b, and then using your point, you'd need to plug the point in for x and y. So you'd plug 1 in for x and negative 1 in for y, and you'd get negative 1 equals negative 3 times 1 plus b b, the point here being to solve for b. So we'd get negative 1 equals negative 3 plus b. Adding 3 to both sides, we'd see that b is equal to 2. And what that gets you is the equation again, y equals, we already know the slope to be negative 3, negative 3x, and we just found b, the y-intercept, and that's 2. And notice that we have here the equation we found using the slope and the y-intercept, and the equation we found using the slope and a point, both of which are, of course, the same. Any of these scenarios are going to be roughly the same thing. So whether you're given the slope and y-intercept, the slope and a point, or you're told that the line is the horizontal line through a given point or the horizontal line through the y-intercept, you're going to be following roughly the same process. The reason being that if you're told that there's a horizontal line, you know that the slope of the horizontal line is zero. If you're given a point, it's the same thing as this right here, where you're given the slope and the point. This is the slope zero and a point. Horizontal line and the y-intercept is a slope of zero and the y-intercept, which is the same scenario you had here. So in any of these cases, you'll be doing what we did down here. Slightly different case is if you're given two points on the line and asked to use the slope-intercept form to find them. What you want to do with two points is first use the two points to find m, the slope, then plug in one of the points to find b. So the way that we'll use the two points to find the slope is we'll say that, we'll say that m is equal to, and here m will be equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1, or 1 of the y coordinates minus the other y coordinate, divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The important thing here is that x sub 2 and y sub 2 come from the same coordinate pair, and x sub 1 and y sub 1 come from the same coordinate pair. So we'll take this point, we'll call this x sub 2, y sub 2, and we'll call this x sub 1, y sub 1, and we'll just plug in those values. So y sub 2 is 5 minus y sub 1, which is negative 1, then divide that by x sub 2, which is negative 1, minus x sub 1, which is positive 1, and when we simplify, we get 6 over negative 2, which is negative 3. Now that we have the slope m, we're just back to the same place that we were in category 1 over here where we had a slope and a point. Since we've already been given two of those points, we can just use one of the points along with the slope, and we really just have this here, slope and a point. And we can say y equals negative 3x plus b, plugging in the slope, and then plug in the point, and we can say 1, negative 1, but since we did that before, we'll plug in negative 1 and 5. So we'll plug in 5 for y and negative 1 for x and solve for b. What we'll get is 5 is equal to 
positive 3 plus b subtract 3 from both sides and see that b is equal to 2. Given that, we have y equals, we know that the slope is negative 3, so negative 3x plus the y-intercept of 2, and we can see that we're right back to the equation that we found using the information we had in category 1. Finally, the last thing that you could be asked to find is the equation of the line and slope-intercept form given a point on the line and the piece of information that the line is parallel to another line. Well, if the line is parallel to another line, here we've been given another line in slope-intercept form, and we know here, based on the formula, that this is our slope. So really, this all just comes back to we have a slope and a point, and we're right back in the same situation that we were in category 1, and we can just say that y is equal to the slope of this line. Remember that parallel lines have the same slope. So identifying the slope in this line means that we can plug in the same slope for our line and then just plug in the point we were given, 5 and 1. And that's exactly what we did over here. We plugged in 5 and 1 and found that b was equal to 2 when we did that. And we ended up right back at y equals negative 3x plus 2. So that's it. That's how you can use these pieces of information to find the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.